example, this is a uh, parabolic uh, cable. So usually for parabolic cables, these are type of cables having a small sum compared to its uh, length. Kumbaga, uh, the ratio of the span to sum is uh, greater than uh, 10. So for example, if you are to get the ratio of 10 or 120 over 10, that is 12, that is greater than uh, 10. And usually for parabolic cable problems, they are carrying uh, other than their uh, self weight. So, for example, it, it, yung cable na to is carrying a pipe with a weight of 0 0.2 kN per uh, meter. So, usually, uh, we can apply the mechanics here, the, the three equations of equilibrium. So, all you have to do is uh, locate the lowest point, then uh, divide the span of the cable. Right, from the lowest point, so let's say this is x and this will be 120 minus uh, x then separate the two sections from this uh, point so for example on the right, uh, left side So, for example, we are considering uh, the left, left side at support A. Okay, so, take note that at the lowest point of the cable, that is the point of action of the minimum tension of the cable. So, for example, we are computing for the tension at the lowest point. So, how to compute for the magnitude of this uh, weight with a span of uh, X? So let's say this is a weight 1 that is basically equal to the uniform load, 0.20, and multiplied by the span x. Then we may do, or we may do summation moment about uh, 0.8 equal to 0, clockwise moments to be uh, positive. So the point of action of that uh, resultant will be x over uh, 2. So we have summation moment of A, clockwise moments to be positive. The magnitude of the weight is 0.2 times x. How far from point A? That is x over 2. Minus the minimum tension. This is a t mean multiplied by perpendicular distance 10 equal to 0. So what is the equivalent of the minimum tension in terms of uh, in terms of x? That will be the same as 0.2 divided by 2 divided by 10. So we have that is equal to uh, 0 0.01 of x squared. So let this be our equation number one in terms of in terms of t mean. So let us consider the right side that is at, at, at support B. So what will be the magnitude of the, uh, the weight on that side? That will be, let's say, weight number 2 is now equal to uh, that is the uniform load, 0 0.20 multiplied by the span. What is the span? That is equal to 120 minus uh, x. So how far is the point of action? This is uh, 120 minus x all over 2, half of the span. So we may do summation moment at B equal to 0, clockwise moments to be positive. So this is the time, kanina, si T mean is uh, to, to the right. So for equilibrium, kung lilipat tayo sa mabila, it should be to the left. So this time it is clockwise about point B. That is, T mean, I multiplied by perpendicular distance 30. What is the magnitude of the weight? 0 0.20. Uh, multiplied by 120 minus X lever arm. That is, 120 minus x divided by 2 equal to 0. So let us compute the equivalent of t mean in terms of x. So that will be 0 0.2 divided by 2 divided by 30. Uh, that is equal to 
uh, 1 over uh, 300 multiplied by 120 minus x multiplied by this one squared. All right. So we have two equations in terms of t mean. All right, we may equate these two to compute for the value of all right, to compute for the value of x. So t mean on the left side. T mean on the left side is equal to zero point zero one x squared is equal to three. Uh, one, uh, 1 over 300 That is uh, 1 over 300 multiplied by 120 minus x quantity squared So this is 300 times 0 0.01 is 3x squared equal to uh, 120 squared is what 44 14400 or 14400 minus 240 of x plus x Screen. All right, then we have that will be the same as 2x squared plus 240 of x I minus 14,400 equal to 0. Then we may uh, use quadratic formula 6 to the second degree. Uh, kung nalala niyo pa yung quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Alright, so let us compute for the value of x. And that will be equal to ay 43.923 meters. Ay kung meron tayong pala ng x, we can now compute for the minimum tension. So we have a uh, minimum tension is equal to Okay, pwede natin gamitin ito. That is equal to 0 0.01. Again, I'll be using 3 decimal places. That is equal to 43. Point uh, 923 square. So I'll just double check. It's going to 43.923. So 43 point uh, 923 squared or right, times 0 0.01. So that will give us the minimum tension is equal to 19.292 kilonewtons. So that will be acting on the lowest point, at the lowest point of the uh, cable. So if we have a minimum tension, saan naman natin matatagpuan? Where, where, where can we find the maximum tension? So maximum tension will be located at the highest point of the cable or that is on the higher support. So B is higher than uh, A. So this will be the location of T max. So all you have to do is uh, determine what is the total weight on the, on the right side. So we are able to compute for this a uh, span. Okay, so this is uh, the right side. Uh, that will be 120 minus x. 120 minus 43.923. So that will be equal to we have 76 0 0.077 meters and equivalent of weight number 2 will be equal to so that is a 0 0.2 times the span the uniform log times the span 0 0.2 times 76.077 we have 15 this is now equal to 15.215 4 kilo newtons or 15.215 na lang para 3 decimal lang tayo 
I saw to compute for T max. So if you have to do triangulation, this is T max. What are the components of T max? That is, we have the minimum tension, which is purely horizontal, and its corresponding vertical weight on the right side. That is your weight number two. So by Pythagorean theorem, T max is equal to the square root of T min. I T min squared plus I weight number two squared. So maximum tension on this table is the square root of T min. We have 19. Let's go to 19 point. Uh, 292 squared plus we have weight number 2 is uh, 15.215 I squared. So this will be the maximum tension in that cable. Is equal to 24 point? This is 24 point I 5, 6, uh, 57, 5, 7, 0 kilo newtons. Okay, so this is our four, our power example, parabolic cable. Paano naman kunin yung tension sa A, on support A? Okay, so all you have to do is determine the weight number one, then again, the equivalent of you have to use the equivalent of teaming. Pythagorean theorem, you can have the tension at you can have the tension at A. I will proceed to Katenari. Uh, let us just solve the problem using uh, another method. Okay? So, first, uh, kailan ba natin masasabi na yung cable is catenary or uh, parabolic? So, this one, kapag uh, catenary, uh, yung binubuhat lang niya, it carries its uh, soft weight. So, we have, other than that, if we are to get the ratio of the span over the sum, so, what is the span of this one? The span is equal to 20 meters, and the sum is 4 meters, and is equal to 5. And this is less than 10. If the span over the sub ratio is less than 10, that will give us a, a catenary right, cable. Alright? So, if the ratio of the span over the sub is greater than 10 and it carries a horizontal uniform load, that will be uh, analyzed as parabolic. Then we have, so let us uh, introduce this uh, parts of this. Uh, Catenary. So we have this uh, y and uh, the value of c, then single on so y. This is half of the, the actual length of the cable, let's say s1 and uh, s2. The sum is 4 meters. We have the equations. What are the relations of these uh, variables? We have s squared plus c squared is equal to uh, the y squared. So we have s is equal to c hyperbolic. This is a hyperbolic function. Hyperbolic Si hyperbolic sine of x over uh, c y is equal to c hyperbolic cosine of x over uh, c how to compute for the minimum tension that is the tension at the lowest point that is uh, mu mu kasi yung ginami dun sa module mu is equal to the uniform load that is 2 kilograms per uh, meter multiplied by the value of uh, c and how about the t max so t max is uh, computed as the uniform load multiplied by the value of y. Okay, so let's have this example. For example, we are computing for the value of t min and uh, t max. So if you have to observe, what is the equivalent of y? Okay, we may use this equation. That is, your s squared plus c squared is equal to I equal to y squared. What is the equivalent of y in terms of c and the sub for meters? So basically, we have the value of y is c, that is c, plus the sub for meters. So we may have, this is s squared plus c squared is equal to, that is the same as c plus 4, I c plus 4 squared. So we have S squared plus a C squared is so equal to C squared plus 8C plus, or we have, I plus 16. We may cancel the C squared. So we have the equivalent of S 
is the square root of 8c plus 16. Okay? So we may now determine, uh, we may determine the value of s. What is the equivalent of x? Since a uh, level support na matay or same elevation of support, so the value of x is equal to, equal to 10 meters. Okay? So that is equal to 10 meters. Uh, we may use this one. Sine is equal to C, hyperbolic sine of X over C. What is the equivalent of S? Ito yan. That is the square root of 8C plus uh, 16 equal to C, hyperbolic sine. What is the value of X? That is 10 divided by C. So in this equation, the only unknown is uh, the value of C. Okay, so this time, since we are dealing with a hyperbolic function, so sa ibang reference na nakita they are doing trial and error. Or sa, sa YouTube, trial and error lang din yan. So this time, I'll be uh, using Shipsolve. Shipsolve lang gagamitin natin. So this is the square root of 8 alpha x. Just for this example, plus 16. Okay, the hyperbolic sine of 10 over c. And it will be equal to 13.117 meters. So, take note that this uh, CNY are in terms of heights. So, we have the value of Y is then equal to C plus A4. So, take note this height Y is the sum plus the value of C. That's equal to uh, 13.117 plus A4. That will give us. 17.117 meters. So we are to compute for t min. T minimum is mu times uh, the value of c. What is the uniform uh, weight of the cable? That is 2 kilograms per meter multiplied by 13.117. Uh, that will give us. It will give us equal to 26 point or this is 26.234 kilograms That is the minimum tension While for T max It's now equal to mu times uh, the value of Y This is equal to uh, We have 2 multiplied by the value of Y This is 17.117 And this will give us 17.117 multiplied by 2 Is 34 this is equal to 34 point I 234 kilograms. So since you have the value, you have now the value of C, you can compute for the value of S. Now take note this is S1, what are uh, just a half of the total length. So S1, X1, S2, X2, uh, X sub 2. But since they are equal, all you have to do to determine the total length will be multiplied by multiplied by 2. So this is just S1. This is the square root of 8 times uh, 13.117 plus uh, 16. So S1 na ito, half of the length of the cable, our actual length. So 8 times 13.117 plus 16. Uh, that is square root. And we have 10.99. This is 10.997 meters. So if we have to determine the actual length, I times 2 lang yun. So, so multiplied by 2, uh, that will be equal to 21.994. Or approximately 22 meters. Okay? The actual length is 22 meters. And this is our example for Kate and Abby.